is a fantastic strategy that works. The Turks really don't attack you until you start building the wonder. But as you saw, they did try sneaking out a transport ship or two at first, but we caught it in time. Which can do you in if you don't have a land army. And it appears that ship is just sp randomly spawning, giving them like infinite amount of troops. Or ships, I should say. Yeah, go Bombards. Cannon Galleons. I also call them Bombard Ships. Alright, the Greeks want a little bit of gold. You don't have to give the Greeks anything if you don't want to. We will, because we're nice. Ah, it is proven for us to join forces against the Greeks. You may mine gold from our village of the Islands, and... Then you can see most of the map if you do that, though. See, so they're pissed. That's why they're bringing in their mangonels. Die, Bombard. Not exactly sure what their trebuchet plan complete. is going to do. Now, we just need to defend it. Piece of cake, no problem. And they got us. Yeah, I mean, they already paid back seven. They just gave me 300 gold back out of some of what they borrowed already. So, I mean, it's very good investment if you're uh, playing this over the long term. Or just playing this to like, do all the resources or something, I don't know. And I think after I uh, finish Battle of the Conquerors, I will uh, start the Joan of Arc campaign, I believe. Maybe we just got Vindland Saga and Kyoto uh, left after this. Jeez, they love their siege weapons. Bad Turks. Of course, I murdered all your population. I want more common galleons. She might be better to take out the castle. See if they can stop building so much stuff. Yeah, they've already pretty much. They've already paid back what I gave them, and more. So it's a very good investment to uh, buy the Greeks if you're playing this for a while. Help you build lots of ships with the wood and gold they give you. But really, we're just waiting down. We're not even defending the wonder. 
I've seen other ways to beat this where you uh, get super defensive, but I don't know. I prefer going on the offense against the Turks. It's a lot easier. What do you think you're doing in here, man at arms? Just chilling? Alright. I mean, the Turks, they're, they're, I don't know, there's, they start with all their troops and transport ships, I mean, and then if you just pin them in here and slowly murder them, there's no way they can even stop you. I mean, if you want to, you can also take over, like, this island, it's got some stone and gold, this too, I mean, if you're playing for a long time. I mean, I, like... I mean, you could do it on even hard, I guess, if you my strategy. They're not really going to be too aggressive anymore. They don't have any troops left. So yeah, the Lepan a lot of these uh, battles of the uh, Conqueror scenarios are a joke. I mean, Agincourt was a joke. Tours was a joke. This is kind of a joke. Hastings was pretty easy, too. Can you guys see that? That'll be up. It's not up yet. Just finished recording it earlier. I rendered it out you know, and stuff. And it went well. A lot of dead Vikings at the end. Harold Hardrati lived though. He was the he was our savior. He saved our trebuchets with his throwing axes. Probably research spies if we wanted to. Yeah, two hundred. They have one villager. They don't even have a villager. I killed them all. Yeah, that's the extent of their base now. Pretty lame. Nothing really to worry about from the Turks. We just got a hundred years left on this wonder victory, so it's half done. Oh, there's really nothing else to do. Just killing time now. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching all these videos and uh, leaving comments and liking them and stuff. I really appreciate that. It, it, it's good to know that people like this kind of stuff. Really, I do this for you guys, not for me. I could, I could do this by myself if I wanted to, but it's not really worth it. I'm just trying to help you guys out if you guys are having problems with this or want to see some uh, new gameplay or see some gameplay of me or just listen to me I don't know I don't know what you guys like so much about me as uh, deputy beagle said in Fallout New Vegas in Prim I'm just a beagle no I don't know I don't even know where I'm going with that no I'm just getting off topic I think what, uh, the first time I played this, I actually, uh, for whatever reason, decided to attack the Greeks. I was playing on standard. I was really kind of scared back then. Jeez, I was probably like six or something. That was a long, that was over a decade ago. That was in the early, early 2000s. Damn, the Turks are nothing to be scared of. And the Greeks, just leave them alone. They're, they want to be your friends. Yeah, they've already given us more gold now than we gave them to start with. We actually landed some ships over here. We could probably completely eliminate them off the map. I wonder if that would win the game for you. I might have to experiment with it. Not not now. I never understood why they gave you these transport ships over here. Maybe it was in case you did my strategy. I really don't know.
Stop running, Peter. Sure to love their siege workshops. Die turns. Turkish dog. But yeah, that's about it. I mean, we're just camping them. We're camping the Turks. That, this sounds ridiculous, but we are. Oh yeah, we were just owning this wood. Some mining going down here. Doesn't really matter anymore. Yeah, I wonder if you destroy all their buildings and units if they actually just surrender that one and you'll win, I don't know. But they keep having the infinitely spawning fire shit too. Kind of annoying. I might have to experiment with that sometime. See if it's completely if it's if you destroy them all. Uh, I don't know if I'd make a video of that though. Almost there, guys. Two more years. Age of Empires travel fast. Turks are defeated. They've been highly defeated the, the whole game. The heavy Venetian galleasses broke through the Turkish lines and trampled over the smaller ships of the Turks. But there were too few of the galleasses to win the battle on their own. The Spanish and Venetians attempted to grapple and board the Turkish ships where the superior experience and weapons of the Christian Marines could be brought to bear. As the day wore on, the Turkish juggernaut began to run out of steam. Scores of Turkish galleys were dashed on the rocks, and others sank to the bottom of the bay. Less than 50 Turkish ships survived the battle. And the infinitely responding the fast fire ship. not the climax of the conflict between the Christians and the Turks on the Mediterranean. But it was a turning point. The Turks had difficulty rebuilding their fleet back to its former size, while the Christians continued to update their fleets with the latest technological advancements, ensuring a decisive military advantage for further encounters on the high seas. I don't quite remember the battle going down that way, but sure. And we have our nice wonder music or wonder music. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Yep, I love the music when you win with a wonder. It's so peaceful. Yeah, timeline, we just destroyed them. Yeah, Turks, that was when we slaughtered the transport ships. Complete massacre. Alright, guys, if you like this video, I'll be doing Vidland Saga soon, and then Kyoto, and then hopefully we will be able to start the Joan of Heart campaign. Unless you guys want the William Wallace learning campaign, I'll do it for you guys if you want. 
Uh, let me know in the comments, or else I'm probably just going to skip it and go straight to Jonah Arc. Alright guys, if you like this uh, Lepanto series, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and as always, 